Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. It is the first time in the history of this country where we see that the one who has now been appointed subject to ratification as chairperson of the Electoral Commission of Zambia is a non-UPND member. A non-UPND member, Mrs. Mwangala Zalomis, is a UPND card-carrying member who everybody knows that she supports UPND and she was a lawyer of the sitting president, His Excellency, Mr. Hagainde Hichiden. What's more, Mr. McDonald Chipenzi. Mr. McDonald Chipenzi calls himself an electoral expert from time in memory. But remember that he applied to stand on UPND as an MP. If it's not Jigankata, I've just forgotten it should be Siavonga. And everybody knows that when Mr. Chipenzi issues a statement, it is in support of an action by the UPND. Look at what happened during the Kabushi and Kwacha pre-by-election period and even post by election period, Mr. Chipenzi was openly taking the UPND line, which led to those illegal, and I call them illegal and a sham election that was held in Kabushi. I may not go into details because the matters are in court. Mr. President, my dear brother, this country should not be narrowed to political cadres in terms of appointments to important positions. I do recall very well that one of the issues that Mr. President, you criticized or you talked about was that we we're going to depoliticize one, the civil service and the electoral commission of Zambia. On the Electoral Commission of Zambia, Your Excellency, you were very, very candid that we needed an independent Electoral Commission of Zambia, void of all political connotations, interference, and otherwise. Why today, my brother? Why do you want to do this to the people of Zambia? Why do you want to bring problems to a body that is already being, has been attacked in the past of being partisan or biased? Now, openly bringing in people that are partisan who even erode the confidence that the Zambians, the little confidence that the Zambians had in the Electoral Commission of Zambia. I plead with you, President Hagainde Ichilema, reverse these nominations. Reverse these nominations for the betterment of Zambia. There are so many people that you can nominate to sit on this body, but please not Mrs. Mwangala Zaromis. I have nothing against Mrs. Mwangala Zaromis. I have known her as a lawyer of very high standing, as a woman of integrity. I have absolutely nothing against her as a person. She's actually one person I regard as a mother to me, a senior citizen. But this appointment is all wrong because our mother has shown the whole world 
that she's a UPND member. She was your lawyer and as such, she cannot be nominated and be taken to aid a very sensitive democratic institution like the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Mr. President, please listen to the voice of wisdom. What you are doing is not correct. You even know it yourself that this is not correct. Was still McDonald Jipenzi. McDonald Jipenzi, even you as an individual, even if Kufa Enchito, I think this be like uh, ben Benaba Changala, people of integrity. If there are any people that I respect from the NGOs today, is Brene Bachangala and Fumba, popular known as Pilato. These people are principled. Brene Bachangala was earmarked to be appointed and he refused and said, I would rather remain civil society and be non-partisan and save the people of Zambia in my position as a, a leader of a non-governmental organization, civil society. That is integrity. That's the level of integrity that we need in Zambia. McDonald Chipenzi, everybody told you, you are speaking partisan lines because you want a job you were refusing. Today you accept and you are even defending. No, yes, I know how I've behaved in the past, but when I go there, I promise the Zambians that I will not be partisan. Chipenzi, are you sure? Chipenzi, 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 Iwe Chipenzi. Are you sure you are not going to be partisan? Look, Chipenzi, your blood is UPND. Your thoughts are UPND. Your actions are UPND. You cannot devote yourself. Divorce yourself, I beg your pardon, from UPND. You can never devo divorce yourself from UPND. Please, my brother, in Sony Ubuntu, reject this nomination. And I want to appeal to the members of parliament from both sides of the divide. The UPND and the MMD, I mean the, uh, uh, the PF, including the independents. Please don't ratify Mrs. Mangala Zaromis. Don't ratify Mr. Jipens. Let the president nominate other people to avoid unnecessary. Certain things you can avoid them. I can tell you this issue is going to bring a lot of tension in this country. And to the PFMPs, what I'm speaking is not the position of the party, it's my own thoughts. That for me, I would advise you to walk out when the ratification of these people comes to parliament. I would appeal to you to even refuse to be appointed on the committee that is going to sit to scrutinize the presidential nominations of these two individuals. I don't have any problem with the other appointments of the Mrs. Sokoni as, as a judge of the High Court, but to appoint McDonald Chipenzi to appoint Mrs. Mwangala Zalomis, who I respect so much, ma'am, nothing against you, an excellent lawyer. But the mere fact that you have identified yourself with UPND, and it is a UPND president sitting as state president who has appointed, did you, madam, reject that nomination? You will mess up your reputation. You mess up your integrity, which you have built 
all these years. You have built a very good reputation, madam. But please, don't mess up your reputation. Leave a legacy where the people they used to be saying they were lawyers like Mrs. Mwangala Zaromis. I am telling you where you are going. It is criticism after criticism. And the mere fact that you are known to belong to the UPND, you should not take up that position. My role is advisory, but advice is up to take or leave. Reject these nominations. Wherever there have been conflicts on the continent of Africa, it is the way you handle and run the electoral body, which is in this case is the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Chipenzi must not see the corridors of ECZ as a commission. Madam Mwangala Zalomis must not see the corridors of the Electoral Commission of Zambia as chairperson of this board. She's evidently qualified because the law says anybody who is either a judge or anybody who has credentials to be a judge. On that score, I have no question. The only question I have, she has shown to be partisan and she has been President Haga Inde Ichilema's lawyer. Whatever decision she's going to make, it will be questioned. And that will be the beginning. Please hear me correctly. I'm sure some of you are already when they are saying the truth is a norm. If you want a Zambia which, is, which has no tension, you, if you want a Zambia where the elections can be regarded as free and fair, please, the two nominees must not take up this position. I have nothing against Chipenzi. I have nothing against Mrs. Mwangala Zalomi's excellent lawyer, senior citizen, but this appointment, no. No, no, no. ECZ should not have a semblance, and I'm saying semblance of partisanship. Then, from the beginning, it is rejected. Whatever decision it will make, you say, it's uh, Zalomis and Jipenzi. Uh, there are a lot of jobs. Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have said, I'm going to prepare a place for you, so that wherever I am, you also be there. These two people can be given positions elsewhere, but not the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Unless you Zambians or opposition political parties, you want the UPND to be in power in perpetuity, accept Chipenzi, accept Mrs. Mwangala at your own peril. I'm appealing to the conscience of these two individuals and the conscience of the president as the appointing authority withdraw these nominations. Where things are wrong, I will never stop talking. That's what makes Shimba come with me. Don't bring confusion in the already confused environment of the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Let at least people have some benefit of that in the decisions. But with Chipenzi there and Mrs. Mwangala, there will be no benefit of doubt. Everything will be obvious. And I'm saying, whether the decision will be right or not, people will take it. The opposition will take it that it is these two partisan individuals that are directing. There's already a, 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 you know, an allegation that Chipenzi has been running the Electoral Commission of Zambia from outside. Now, what happens when he's inside? But President, integrity amuntu, no ubuntu, na humility, by mwena in the actions you take on things that you condemned. 
You could not condemn and accuse the Electoral Commission of Zambia of being partisan. And again, on the other hand, you want to bring people who are partisan in the commission, non-partisan. Yes, every Zambian at heart has got a political party they support. But whoever has come out to either support UPND, PF, MMD, uh, 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 Citizen uh, First Party, Socialist Party, NDC, etc., etc., should and must never, never, never be appointed on the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Hence, my appeal to the President to withdraw these nominations and do the right thing. What was wrong in the previous regimes cannot be right under this regime.